How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today I am at the Rocky Island. Now why do you ask? Well, simple. I need to get more shale. And the best place that I've seen so far to get shale would be the Rocky Island. Shows you two um, little bars there on the stone attribute that we should be able to get a lot of stone in theory. Now, I feel that is the case. And the other reason why I feel like that is simply, actually what I'm gonna do is I might send you, not there, but possibly over here. Can I dispatch you over here? Oh no, you're, you're coming over this way. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. I wanted to actually dispatch you over there, but that's okay. Anyway, so the reason why that I need to get shale is simply because I need to get a lot more workstations up and running. And so far, shale is the only thing that I'm sort of kind of lacking in. That next to pine logs, I believe it is. So I am needing to get a bit of both. But at the minute, I prefer to try my luck and get a bit of shale. Now, you will find shale over here. Sometimes I haven't been as so lucky. Now, it's sort of a bit of a random thing that I've noticed and I haven't been able to, you know, put my finger on it as to why that would be. But for now, hopefully we shall get a bit of shale here, no doubt. So this is basically where I'm at at the minute. And the more shale I get, the more that I can convert into blocks. And it is quite expensive to do shale blocks. So for every block, you need at least five pieces of shale for that to happen and resonate there. So once that happens, you know, by the time you get a certain amount, you only get a little bit back in return there. So the frequency, it's a little bit hard. The grind is a little bit real. I probably should grab this, which I will. And if I need to get let go of it, I will. So I've got enough uh, little lambs at the minute. So if I need to get rid of that, I'll probably have to make that call shortly. As you guys would probably notice is I do not have the good backpack anymore. I kind of died, unfortunately. I did that when I was just mucking about. And for the life of me, I can't remember the life, uh, sorry, the name of this enemy. It starts with the, with the letter T. And I'm not too sure exactly how to pronounce it, to be honest with you. And if I knew, I would actually sort of pronounce it here on cam, but I'm not going to. It's got about 600 hit points. You can attack it. However, it packs quite a punch and yeah unfortunately I thought I'd do the you know the rogue thing and try to attack it myself and I paid the consequence and unfortunately it was not in a timed event area so I kind of lost a lot so yeah that's what happened with that unfortunately but it is what it is it's the nature of the game so as much as I wanted to hang on to that for dear life kind of lost it and now I'm just you know uh, fooling around with the little standard backpack but all's not lost because I am close to crafting the backpack that has 10 available spots so I guess that's a thing and hopefully I'd be able to be you know a little bit more productive as I'm sort of going along and you know doing my thing oh that is so close nearly where the gorilla was and that's um, that's a hardened gorilla there's two versions that I've noticed oh, who we got here little rascal here so there is a gorilla that has 500 plus hit points, as you've just seen. And then there is another one that has 310, which there's, in my opinion, medium to hard um, versions of the gorilla that you may face in your time playing this game. So thought I'd just point that out as we're sort of going along. Let's just hit this node up and see what else there is to, um, to get. So, so far I've got about 30 pieces of shale, which is okay. But as I said, it takes five to one ratio and it's, it is quite expensive. And I just want to sort of get enough just so I can, you know, ooh, can I, can I, no, okay. I didn't think that would be the case, but that's all right. Because if you're quick enough with evading and whatnot, you should be able to kill this goon relatively easy and you shouldn't have a any sort of issue about getting hit or anything like that let's just punch him there we go and i should have another one of these perfect 
Ooh, there we go. I'll take that shale block. I'll take that with me as well. And whoop, I want to. That's what I want to do. There we go. All right, let's just quickly heal up as it is. And let's see what was in here. Okay, so how are you guys enjoying my Let's Play series of this awesome game? Let me know in the comments, sound off, because I'm really interested to hear some feedback. How you guys think of the game, what you guys think of it, and hopefully once the developers decide to globally release this game, then everyone else will start to enjoy it just as well. So hopefully that will happen soon, actually. And if that happens fairly soon, well, at least you guys can um, start playing it for yourselves. And you guys can always use my videos as, as reference. So everything that I'm doing here, this is all new to me. I don't have any sort of prior experience, you know, going into the video kind of thing, especially if there's something new that just has recently popped up or as I'm sort of le leveling up, getting accessibility to say harder levels and zones and things like that. I guess that's just a bit of a takeaway there for you guys. And at least this way, you guys will be fully prepared, equipped, to sort of go in and do it yourselves, at least having the knowledge from my video. So, ooh, boop, 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 boop. Who do we have here? Hey, thought I just stabbed you a little bit. Come on. If he continues to try and do that little rage attack like that, and you can sort of get out of his proximity there, better than him hitting you just like that. Awesome. All right, let's take the tender meat there. I'm gonna eat up on this here. And so far, so good. Um, I am actually nearly, nearly at the end of that pickaxe there. So I'm going to have to find some bamboo and just chop a few of these fellas down here so I can get another hatchet happening here. And we'll get that stone node in a sec. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Have you guys been enjoying it? I know the obvious... You know, the, obviously addressing the elephant in the room that we do not have a full global release yet. I have been asking the question to the developers and unfortunately I did not get a response. But I did see on one of the responses from someone else that asked in uh, one of their Facebook pages posts there is essentially they're trying to get aiming for a global release towards the end of the summer. Now, I'm guessing that's summer, say, US summer. Um, what are we now? So we are sort of in the tail end of June, coming into July pretty quickly. And I would suspect that it might happen in the next, you know, month or two, if they're going to go down that pathway. Now, we don't know that for sure. That's the problem. So if it happens, hopefully it'll happen soon for a lot of you guys, and you guys will hopefully get this release. And if it does happen, fantastic. At least you guys will, you know, be able to play it, all that sort of good stuff. But that's all I know, really. Unfortunately, I don't know any more information than what I've just mentioned to you. It is obviously the most um, asked about question, you know, when this game will be available in my country, all that sort of jazz there. So, look, my suggestion would be to sit tight if you can um, and enjoy the videos that I have at the minute. And you know what, I don't want to deal with you, so let's run out. Enjoy the videos that I have, and hopefully it'll give you a much needed uh, knowledge boost before you guys jump into the game. If you guys are really, really desperate to play the game, which I can understand if you guys are, actually we might hit that guy up on the way back. Um, then consider downloading a v VPN. And at the moment, as far as I'm aware, the only countries that have this game released to them would be Australia, where I'm from. You've got India and I believe South, uh, South Africa would be the third country. So only the three countries at the minute. If you guys decide to uh, create a VPN into one of those three uh, countries there, I would assume that you'd have the ability to download the game and obviously start playing. So keep that in the back of your head if you guys really would want to start playing the game. But it may come with some consequences. So I'm not too sure exactly by utilizing the VPN structure. Will you guys retain your current data and information if you were to um, uh, get the game on? Oh, did I? Oh, okay, we are nearly at the tether here. Um, will you, if you guys would be able to retain your information? 
once the release happens. So yeah, so think about that guys. It's not something that I'm going to condone if you guys will continue to play the game, you know, as on a VPN structure, will you guys uh, be able to uh, continue with safe progress or will you have to start all over the all over again so I'm not too sure exactly how that will happen if ha if it does happen actually so I'm not too sure so I haven't had the ability to you know muck around with uh, VPNs or anything like that so I've never ever ever played played around with them so to speak so yeah I just thought I'd just throw that out there just you know as a quick uh, you know disclaimer but so far I think we're doing quite well with the whole shale production here so let's see what I have here at the minute I have over 60 which is good all right so I'm not too sure if there's any any inwards or anything like that also this is a great place to pick up copper if you really want to get your hands on some copper um, this place is a decent area to get copper obviously as you can see there is a whole lot of nodes around here I'm just doing a quick sweep just to see if there was any that I've missed or anything like that. Don't think I have. Oh, I missed one up here. Okay, perfect. So we'll grab him along the way. Um, let's just quickly duck around. Don't think I can see anything around here. I think we've done okay. All right, how's my durability on that? All right, so what I might end up doing... Oop, okay, I thought for some reason that was a shale node. Anyway, so what I'll probably do is I will quickly gather some of these copper and I'll just wait until the pickaxe breaks kind of thing. And then obviously we can move on and head back home and see what else is happening around the base there. So I have made some improvements to the base as well. A little bit, not a lot. Nothing to sort of, you know, write home about, but... You know what i'll show you guys what i've done what i'm aiming at doing as well and hopefully by the time i annoy whoop, the old pirates around here let's just duck out real quick of course i really don't want to annoy them just yet because i feel like i'm not ready to tackle the um the anger of the pirates so kind of like when westland when you anger the bandits um they're going to come after you i think they are bandits or they're just general you know rogue pirates anyway digress so eventually they're going to come and attack you if you get the little flag up the top corner um, up to red so as you can see next to the cogwheel there where the um, the settings uh, button would be you will find eventually you're going to have to deal with some pirates coming to your base and I think there's about three to four from what I have seen now I haven't actually angered them myself personally just yet it's just what I've seen through the traps and I feel like I need to get a little bit more preparation in before that happens. So what I'm talking about, things like weapons and things like that, some upgraded, um, you know, bits and pieces. So what I really want to aim to get is the workshop up and running so I can have some better weapons and have the ability to craft those said weapons. So once I sort of get that pipeline happening and if I get a decent, um, you know, a, a decent sort of roadmap for that, then absolutely i will won't have any problems in dealing with those you know those uh bandits that come through so um all right so we're not too far away with this but that's pretty much where i'm at with things and that's where i sort of wanted to you know do this as a early game strategy a lot of people just want to you know play the way they want to play which is all well and good don't get me wrong it's actually a, a good thing so you know to do it that way why not but for me, I sort of like to be a little bit more on the strategic side of things. And once, okay, we're done. Uh, so once that, you know, I get to that point, I can, you know, better defend myself, the base, of course, and things like that. And hopefully by then I'll have um, a little bit more uh, defenses along the way. So that's sort of where I'm sort of at and my thought process behind that, of course. All right. So I want to head out. Let's go over to this fella here because I just want to suss out even though that he's, he's on the way back so let's just suss out what he has to offer me today if there's anything good um, you may head back and grab you know whatever is there that I deem you know um, vital for me so let's have a suss not too sure if you guys have actually seen the trader just yet so I guess this is a really good segue heading back to base so we'll see what old trader has for us once we get into the zone of course and as always, what I would 
usually su suggest for a lot of people is if you can try and try get and loot everything around here it's free it's free loot free resources why the hell not this i believe is tin if i'm not mistaken now i don't have anything in my inventory to uh cut those or anything cut that down or anything like that but as you can see uh nice small little space here get some basic resources you will have enough resources lying about to make yourself an axe or a pickaxe i don't believe both I believe it's only one or the other so yeah keep that in mind but just thought i'd point that out all right so oil lamp that's what we need that's what you need if you want bronze parts which i don't think that's a bad deal you know i could always head back and grab some of the weapon parts there you need five of those to get one of those which you know may not be the best thing to get but it is there and again if you want to get your things sold like bombs and things like that then you'll have to get yourself things like oil lamps obviously you'll need to purchase coin in some shape or form and there you go there you have it so nothing that screams that i want to get anything just yet um, you know what, let's just quickly auto this and just see what my fella gets here. I don't think there's anything else much that I will be getting from here. But, may as well. May as well grab what I need. Okay, so he's all done. Inventory is full. Very, very good. And we can head over home. And see what is what for today. Okay. Alright, so we'll quickly head home. And we've still got our sailor there, he is travelling over there. So hopefully we'll get some further resources for us. I think what I what I need as well is uh, leather. So the rough hide, so I can make uh, rough... Is it leather? Rough le leather? I can't even remember what the the resource is called once it's been crafted. But we'll, we'll suss it out real quick. So let us head over here. Yeah, rough, it's rough leather. Got an extra one in there, which is always good. Okay, yeah, so now I have the ability to craft a canvas bag, so which is all awesome here. And I've got the ability now to make a bit of a jute and cloth and all that sort of stuff. We'll do the fabric roll because I do need the fabric roll as we go along. And what else do we have here? The shale block. So I got over 100 pieces of shale, which is great. All right, so there you go. 100 pieces equals a stack of that. So it's good. But it is also grindy at the same time. So let's just go ahead and store all that, cycle that. And that's what I've got here. So yeah, so the tin ore, that's where you can get it from the trader. So I've only been able to see it there so far. I haven't actually really ventured out into anywhere in terms of harder zonage or anything like that. So again, as I sort of progress along, eventually I'll probably get out to that way. Not too sure exactly how I'm going to play it, but we shall get there eventually soon enough. As you can see, resources here are um, a little bit on the on the scarce side there. Well, scarce. Yeah, scarce. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, that's basically where I'm at here. So I've got about 36 palm boards. I'm going to need some more palm in general. And I'm going to have to head up uh, further north from me here to actually get what I'm after. And as you can see, I made a little bit of an extension here. So just sort of um, anticipating the workstations and just sort of filter it out a little bit, just to sort of fill it out and make it a little bit more nicer and aesthetically good for me. Cause right now I'm a little bit on the cramper side. So let's take a quick look into the workshop. So I want to make the, what, what do I want to make? I've got the herbalist table here. I've got the armored workshop, which probably what I want to get next, I think, well, armor, hang on, armor would be for your clothing, so I don't really need that just, just yet, I wouldn't mind it, but I think the forge is probably the next thing I want to get, and I'm nearly there, the only problem is, at the minute, is the moment that I make the copper tools here, which I'm going to have to regardless, is I'm going to need more rough height, now I think I might have some in the old inventory here, hopefully, so I've got some jute fabric roll, which is good. I've got a copper pickaxe, which is great, which I got from the daily login. There we go, rough uh, leather. So should be okay with that. I'm going to take that with me as I've got it while I'm talking about it. And I've got some sturdy clothing, which is good. So I'll end up using that soon. Copper saber. And 
It's in hide actually. I think I needed some of that. There you go. So it's actually a nice little nice little thing sometimes when you're not thinking about it. When you actually forget really when did you purchase these or when did you actually get these through, you know, reward systems and things like that. So all well and good. Now once these things here whoop, actually craft, then I'll be able to get the forge, see what that's all about, and we can, you know, start crafting a few other bits and pieces. I'm assuming weapons, just like it is in Westland. And I am sort of, um, you know, modeling that based on the Westland setup. So I'm assuming once this is all good to go, I should be able to um, craft some better weapons and things like that. And this is probably where I'll, I'll have the ability to go into, you know, harder zones and things like that. Possibly get more and better resources, things like that. So that's pretty much where I'm at with things. So yeah, so this is pretty much what I have been up to actually since I last left you guys. Oh, about a few days ago, I guess, according, um, going from the previous upload. So I have noticed a steady decline in the video viewership, which obviously is sort of understandable as well at the same time. But if you guys are enjoying it, make sure that you do hit the like button, comment down below, let me know how you are enjoying the series. And if you guys are actively playing it, be sure to comment yourselves because you will help other people that will, uh, would like to sort of, you know, know a little bit further about the game itself, things that I haven't covered. If you guys want to lend your expertise, feel free to drop it in the con comments there because it's only going to help everyone else, not just me, but everyone. Anyway, I think it's probably a good time to go ahead and leave it here today. So I appreciate you guys stopping by as always. So again, final plug, of course, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, and if you've enjoyed what you've seen here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, I'm out of here. Take it easy. And as always, I will catch you next time.